Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank the gentlelady from Oregon is recognized. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Speaker Boehner, Leader Pelosi, members of the Oregon delegation, new colleagues from across this great country, friends and family. This afternoon, I'm honored to accept the responsibility and opportunity to represent the people of Northwest Oregon in the United States Congress. I want to start by thanking my family for your love, encouragement, patience, and sacrifice. My husband, Michael Simon, my children, Andrew and Sarah, thank you. Thank you also to my mother, Marie Bonamy, who's also here with us today, for giving me my first job in your small business and for instilling in me the values I hold today. And thank you to all the individuals and organizations who stood by me and worked so hard over the past several months to help me reach this day. Finally, and most importantly, to the con uh, people across the 1st Congressional District of Oregon, thank you for giving me this honor. It's great to be back in Washington, D.C. I started my legal career here more than 27 years ago as a consumer protection attorney at the Federal Trade Commission. A lot has changed in our world since then, but the importance of the work that happens here in the Capitol and the significance of the decisions that are made in this historic chamber have not. Oregon's first congressional district is full of promise and potential from the vineyards in Yamhill County to the ports uh, in Astoria and Clatsop County, the family communities in Columbia County, the engines of industry in Washington County, and the culture, business and cultural districts in Portland. It's a very uh, diverse and dynamic part of the state. Yet there are too many families still struggling to make ends meet, and they want to know that their voices are heard in our deliberations. Now, our economy and the nation's confidence are both in need of rebuilding. As we work together, let us remember that the unparalleled prosperity and creativity of this great nation over the last century can be traced to this promise that if you work hard and play by the rules, you can succeed in America. That's the America my grandparents crossed the ocean for. That's the America too many people believe is slipping away. And that's the America I want to work to rebuild. I'm excited to begin. I'm humbled by the tremendous responsibility, very appreciative of the trust that the people of Northwest Oregon have placed in me. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield back my time. Under Clause 5D of Rule 20, the Chair announces to the House that in light of the administration of the oath to the gentlewoman from Oregon, Mr. Bonamici, the whole number of the House is now 434.